Hey, what's going on guys? It's Keda here and today let's talk about some super capacitors. So, if you don't know what is super capacitors, then it is just like a capacitor but uh, it is pretty huge in terms of the capacities. So, usually you'll see only the units parads for large super capacitors like this. Even the smallest one which I have is uh, 1 parad and 5.5 volts in ratings. So these capacitors are not similar to the electrolytic capacitors that you can found in power supplies and other filter power filtering stuff. These super capacitors are EDLC type which is uh, known as electric double layer capacitors. So first one is the NEC 5.5 volt. 1 farad super capacitors so the equation for calculating the energy stored in these capacitors is 1 half capacitance into voltage squared so it is uh, 15.12 joules and uh, it is decent if you look at the size and the capacity ratio of this capacitor then the second one I have is a 2.7 volt 100 farad capacitors. For these capacitors, it can store 364 joules of energy in it, and this large one capacitor can store 1822 joules of energy. Well, if you are asking about the current that it would take to charge the capacitors then it is pretty huge cause the equivalent series resistance on these capacitors is pretty low in milliohms for this one and uh, it is in range of the few ohms for this smaller one so it will literally short circuit your input supply for the voltage range uh, for this capacitor if you give it 2.7 volts then it will take whatever amps you have given to it for 2.7 volts so I have this 5 watt solar panel guys and here is DC to DC buck converter so the output voltage is currently set at to 5.2 volts and as you can see it is giving me 70 milliamps so let me start the charging using the solar panel and it is reaching quite fast increasing the voltage now i'm charging this capacitor with my solar panel it is charging at 70 milliamps but as you can see it is reaching the voltage almost by 100 millivolts per second okay friends so it is 5 volts and well of course you can give high currents and charge it in seconds so let me show you how much sudden current it can give so switch to current range watch the amperes so i have connected my ammeter here in series with this capacitor so I am charging this capacitor, 100 farad capacitor using one lithium ion cell. The maximum current it gives is uh, about 2.5 amps and it is fully consuming the 2.5 amps approximately and the leads are getting hot. So 
might need to remove it so you can get the idea how much load it can put onto your source so let me show you onto this small charging session how much voltage we got onto our capacitor as you can see it reached up to 1.1 volts it instantly charges and well let me show you the discharge rate of this capacitor again so I'm directly short circuiting it with my emitter as you can see 1.8 amps started from it is 2 amps and similarly for this 500 farad capacitor so let me connect it up with emitter so so as you can see now here is the charging current it is taking 4.7 amps so the current is reducing but the, the lead temperature is getting so hot i can't hold it so let me stop for a seconds let 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 it be cool now the problem is that i don't have here the proper connections if uh, it would be connected then the the termination resistance in here will be further reduced and you will see that this current is further increased so it will take much less time to charge so let's check the voltage it should be charged for 2 volts now it should be So as you can see it is charged to 1 volts and uh, as you can see it is putting 3.5 amps. Ok guys to sum up this video this 5.5 volt 1 farad capacitor super capacitor is uh, put loads of 1 amps approximately onto your supply voltage at 5 volts and it is good for high current sudden burst applications and uh, it is nice uh, other than these capacitors cause this is 5.5 volts and uh, the voltage is also important in some cases this 100 farad ones is just similar to this 500 farads these both are 2.7 volts and uh, they are literally just short circuit if you are charging it ok guys so my next idea is to connect these capacitors in series and possibly make a 12 volts battery to jump start bike or maybe a car so tell me what applications you have in your mind and put it in the comments down below guys and please like this video guys share and subscribe for more stuff like this and i'll see you in the next one peace goodbye